500 plus 600. I think England are going to chase them down and you're going to see a Ben Stokes masterclass. Come on, England. Hey guys, I'm James Madeira and I'm going to be bringing you England versus South Africa ODI from the beautiful Durham. I'm up in Newcastle as we speak, about to head down there. Look at the weather, it's absolutely beautiful. And sadly, today for those cricket fans out there, it's going to be Ben Stokes' last ever ODI match. Ben Stokes is out, this is the ovation he gets. Now I'm really looking forward to it and let's get down there. So I've just got here guys to the stadium, it's starting to fill up. So I'm going to walk around now to the net, see if any of the players are warming up. See who we can spot, see if you know anyone. Here comes Liam Livingston signing a few uh, autographs. Just by there. It's less than half an hour now to go until the game starts. Let's get ourselves up to the seats. Shout out to Prio for the hat, by the way. Little Cortez number. It's a beautiful game, day for it, guys. Look at the views here. Beautiful view there, massive boundaries, as you can see. Gonna be a good day. So we just found out that South Africa are gonna bat first. About to get things started here. Here we go. Ready to go, here come the teams. Good first couple of overs, South Africa here, right? keeping the runs ticking over. Holden there, taking the wickets. First wicket fall in there for South Africa, Quinton in the cock. I feel like that'll be a vital wicket. Things are ticking over nicely here for South Africa. Milan's approach is 50. Partnerships on around about 80. It's looking good, good start for the batsman. It's a hot, hot, day, hot, hot day here at Chester Street. Just to refill for a bit of water. Van der Dusen's on the charge. Looking like he's closing on his 100. Let's see what happens. Van der Dusen's got his 100. Great knock from the lad, fully deserves. South Africa have just finished batting, 333 is the total. I reckon we'll do it. I think England are going to chase them down and you're going to see a Ben Stokes masterclass. Come on England. 334 needed, come on England. Here we go guys, I'm here with Josh, do you think England are going to do it oh, today? definitely, come on! Boys, what are you thinking? Do you think England are going to win? Yeah, easy England to win. And who do you think is going to top score for England? Yeah. Johnny Bairstow. Johnny Bairstow. Yeah. So I'm here with the boys now, look at this, entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, collecting all these cups to get some money, am I right? Yeah! Bairstow and Roy are absolutely flying here, we're on 54 for none, come on England. Tony Bear, so he's up to his 50. Good inning so far. Floodlights are on now, it's starting to get a little bit dark. England 120 for one. Bearstow's on a strong 63, he's getting things going. Bearstow's been giving out for LBW. The review's on. Nightmare for England, Bearstow's been giving out. Yes. 
England at 209 for six here with 10 overs to go. The middle order's collapsed. Joe Root is on 60 odd. It's looking like he's going to be the guy to take it home if we get the win. 10 overs to go, come on England. Three wickets in the same over there. England nine down. It's not looking good from here. So I've made it out of the ground guys and I'm heading back home. What a great day of cricket that was. And to be honest, I was a bit disappointed by England's middle order. I thought Joe Root got let down massively. Um, but what a great day. It was great to see Ben Stokes as well in his final ODI. And what was also great is that two Durham lads actually got to finish off the batting for England. South Africa deserved the win. They kept it ticking over all day. And yeah, what a top day out. I'm James Madeira here with Spectate Sports over and out.